Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and today is March 14th. That's when I'm making this video. That's when I'm going to post this video. And today is what we call Pi Day in Mathematics. And a lot of you are out there saying, are you kidding me? People actually celebrate this number? Whoa, I think you should be celebrating, celebrating this number as well. It is extremely important, not only in mathematics, but uh, the reason why you're able to watch this video and use the internet and all this technology is because of math and science. And when it comes to uh, numbers in mathematics and science, probably nothing is more important than this number here, which of course is pi. So uh, I'm gonna just, this is gonna be a very quick video. I'm gonna explain to you how this number 3.14, how it comes about, like why is pi 3.14? It's gonna be a very simple explanation, but I'm just curious, why is pi around the decimal value 3.14? So if you think you know the answer to that question, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna, of course, show you the correct answer uh, or the correct explanation here in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video is interesting, if you want to help me celebrate uh, Pi Day, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that definitely helps me out. But uh, yes, indeed, uh, math uh, classes all over the world are celebrating today, March 14th, which of course is the month of three and the day of 14. So March 14th is Pi Day, and it is a real thing, okay? You're probably saying, oh, this guy's making something up. No, I am not, okay? A matter of fact, there are um, even contests around the world for uh, people uh, that know the digits of Pi, okay? Like how many digits of Pi uh, can you, um, uh, you know, basically recite. Now, I'm not even going to get past 3.14, but it's not, the, it's not the point of this video. But uh, my main um, kind of point is, one, is to really emphasize how important this uh, number is in mathematics. But first of all, as I kind of indicated in the beginning of this video, what is pi? Why is it around 3.14? Well, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and answer that question right now. Okay, so here I have two circles, okay? And this is a small circle and this is a big circle. And let's say this line, okay, is going through the center of the circles, okay? So here's one circle, here's another circle. So now this line right here is representing the width of the circle. Okay, so let's focus on this small circle right now. So this is the width. There's another name for the width of a circle. We can measure the width this way. We can measure the width this way. It's basically a line that goes from one uh, side of the circle to the other and crosses through the center. The width of a circle is what we call the diameter in uh, geometry and mathematics. Now from the center out right there, this is called the radius and this entire length right there is called the diameter. Okay, which I kind of like to think of as the width of the circle. Now, the distance around the circle, okay, is called the what? Well, it starts with the C. It's called the circumference. Okay, so if I just kind of took a, uh, like a tape measure, if I could kind of just swing it around and I, met, and I went from here all the way around, I would have the circumference of the circle. Okay, so the circumference, again, is the distance around a circle, the diameter is the width of the circle. So if you take a circle and you take its circumference, like this little circle here, we measure around and we divide it by the diameter. Well, what number do you think we're gonna get? Okay, the circumference divided by the number. Well, you're gonna get this decimal value. It's gonna be 3.14. And then this thing is gonna go on and on and on. And it's gonna go on to infinity, okay? The, you'll still get more digits, but the digits are not going to kind of repeat and they're not going to terminate. In other words, this thing goes on and on and on. And if you want to know the entire value of pi, well, you're going to have to spend in, uh, infinity to uh, calculate it. And of course, you and I don't have that time. So we just kind of estimate it around 3.14. There's also a... Um, and a fractional approximation 
of pi, which is 22 sevenths, okay? So this uh, uh, number, because it goes on infinitely, what we do, we just assign a variable to it, a symbol that represents all these infinite digits, and that is what pi is. It represents this number, okay? And this type of number, is an, uh, this type of number in mathematics is what we call an irrational number. It's basically a non-terminating, a non-repeating decimal, okay? So it is important for you to know that pi um, is an irrational number, but when we were actually working with pi, uh, you can use various approximations. Again, 3.14 is the minimum kind of decimal uh, approximation, but the more decimal places of pi you use, the more accurate your answer uh, is going to be anytime you're dealing with something with pi. And again, if you want to use a fractional basic kind of estimation of pi, you can use the fraction 22 over 7. Okay, so here I have my big circle. And of course, this little circle right here, I told you the circumference uh, divided by the diameter is uh, about that number. And you go to any circle, a big circle, a small circle, doesn't make a difference. If I took this circle right here and I got the circumference and I divided uh, that by its diameter, I would still get the same number. Okay, so you get that same uh, ratio no matter what size the circle. So pi is tremendously important. Like what kind of problems do we use pi with? Well, obviously, when you're dealing with circles, uh, we need to use pi, any kind of circle problems, you know, to find the area of a circle, the circumference of the circle, et cetera, like that. But pi, as you uh, progress into more advanced, math ma advanced mathematics, especially like trigonometry, it is like everywhere. It becomes more and more and more important, okay? So this value, pi, is critical, okay? And again, uh, for those of you that uh, appreciate technology, your cell phone, your smartphone, the internet, you know, uh, cars and all that kind of stuff, modern technology, there is science behind there is engineering behind that. And believe me when I tell you, this uh, value pi plays a kind of heroic ro uh, role in all this engineering and science and mathematics. It's just like everywhere. Now, a lot of you out there would be like, you know, you don't see it, but it is there, okay? So anyways, I think the, uh, this number, 3.14, definitely, um, you know, uh, is entitled to its own little special day. So hopefully, you know, if you didn't know anything about pi now, you know, I don't want to go beyond this video and tell you anything more because I'm hoping that you didn't know what uh, pi was, or you probably knew this symbol and you probably maybe knew what uh, the basic value of it is. I think most people kind of remember that from school, but most people don't know why pi is around that, and they don't realize how important this is. Now, if you really want to learn more about pi and its usage, then you want to kind of study more geometry and definitely like trigonometry, okay? So those are some great courses to learn more about pi. But uh, anyways, with that being said, hopefully you found this little video interesting and exciting, and hopefully it motivated you to learn more mathematics. That's my goal when I make these uh, YouTube videos. But if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.